Hello, hello, and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Today, I just kind of wanted to talk about my experience being on the ITV game show Moneyball. So I was actually on episode eight, the last episode of the first season. Next up to Black Moneyball, Shivani from Dundee. <laughs> all kind of started um, February last year. So my cousin Hayley actually sent me a Facebook post from ITV saying that they were looking for people specifically from Dundee to take part in this new game show. Straight away, I really wanted to apply. Right, let's do it, let's apply. So the application asked you a bit about yourself, like how would other people describe you? What kind of things have you done in your life? What are your hobbies? What risks have you taken? What would you spend the money on if you want it? That was pretty simple and um, it was all kind of straightforward but at the end of the application you had to kind of reiterate what you've said in your written application but do it and submit it as a video which at the time like the idea of me doing a video and speaking and sending it to ITV was just so scary and I was kind of thinking every day should I do it and I was going to do it and then I was like nah because I just wasn't feeling confident and I just I didn't like the way it looked. Like I said, I just kept putting it off. But then one day, I was just, I was thinking like, what is the worst that can happen? What is actually gonna happen if I submit this video and they say no, nothing, nothing's gonna change. What have I got to gain? Literally everything up to 250,000 pounds. And yeah, I just did it there and then. I went for it, I submitted it straight away. I didn't want to overthink it. A week or so later, I got a phone call and they said that they really liked my application. So the phone call kind of turned into a phone interview, basically. Um, so it was with a guy Hayden from ITV. On the phone interview, Hayden was just kind of going over what I'd said in my application, just a bit about me. They just kind of want to get to know you. me, I think it was 10 general knowledge questions. Maybe eight out of 10 I got right. Was, um, what social media platform would you send a tweet from? And obviously I knew that was Twitter. So just kind of those like level of questions. At the end of the phone interview, um, Hayden said, look, I think this went really well. I'd like to invite you to a Zoom audition. The Zoom interview came, um, it was with Hayden again. At the end of the Zoom interview, Hayden just kind of says, okay, so now we have to send this off to the producer. A couple of weeks went by and I got the phone call. It was Hayden again. He said, look, the producers really liked you and we would like to invite you to be on the game show. So obviously the next step was being on the game show. I got all my information. It's gonna be in Manchester that you're filming. I found out that the host was Ian Wright and oh my goodness, I love him. That kind of made it even more exciting. Um, so yeah, I drove down to Manchester, got to the hotel, got a message and they were like, look, we've had some technical difficulties in the game show. So basically, instead of you being on tonight, we're going to get you to be on 12 o'clock tomorrow. So the following day came and I woke up um, super excited. I got another message saying, um, can you actually come at four o'clock later on today? So I was about to leave and I got a message saying, look, we're really, really sorry, but you can't come into the studio today. And do you know what? Like it was totally out of their hands. So a couple of weeks went by and do you know what? I just, I wasn't hearing much. I was, I didn't want to bother them by asking them because I knew that they would come to me when they were ready. So another couple of weeks went by. I, was, <laughs> I still wasn't hearing anything. I was kind of losing hope. And then I think they got in touch with us again. It was an email and they just basically said like, look, we're really sorry, there's nothing we can do right now. It could be a couple of weeks, it could be a couple of months. It's just totally out of our hands. So yeah, that was, I mean, it was pretty gutting because obviously I'd, I'd been proper studying for this. I'd worked my way right up to it. I'd been to Manchester, literally in, right next door to the studio. I got so far, but it just, do you know what? It wasn't meant to be. So yeah, a couple of months went by. I wasn't hearing anything. I was just kind of losing hope. That all happened kind of March, the first week in August. And I got the emails. We're, we're looking at dates for filming. Um, are you still interested? Ah! See, when I got that email, I was so, so excited. So the filming date was the end of September. I had about a month 
to prepare. My gran actually bought me the thickest book of general knowledge questions. I think it was actually 10,000 questions in the book. Eventually, the day had finally come. We got to the end of September and that was it. I was right back down. So I woke up the next morning, got ready. I was finally able to go to the studio. So went to the studio. Oh, it was such an amazing experience. You have to bring three outfits and they choose what looks best on camera. And then you get your hair done, you get your makeup done, you're all prepped and you sit in the green room. We were waiting to go on. I started to feel a bit hot. And obviously I'm thinking so much pressure on me right now. I'm finally here. I'm finally going to get a go at playing the game. This is what I've been waiting about six, seven months for. So I thought when I was feeling quite hot that it was just all the nerves. But I started to do the sleeve up and I could see that there was like allergy spots on my arm. So straight away I realised I am having an allergic reaction right now. It was actually the ITV nurse. She came over and she was like, look, this is really, really bad. Um, they had to get me mouthwash from one of the ITV crew members that just had it with them. Just turned into this absolute nightmare. I could see by their reaction that I was not going to get on the game show. <sighs> you could see that they were gutted as well for me because obviously it was out of their hands, it was out of my hands, there was nothing we could do about it. Again, I'd already come down in March and then I'd waited and then I'd come down in September and it had happened again. I didn't go on the game show. Do you know what? I was just absolutely gutted. Just my luck, basically. I've never wanted something so much in my life, like, because I've just been like this close every time. I just wanted it so much more. I went home on the Saturday. Um, Sunday, I didn't hear from them. Monday, I think it got to about the afternoon, I hadn't heard from them and I was just totally losing hope. I didn't think it was happening at all. And then I got the phone call from the producer herself and she says, if you can come tomorrow, then that's fine. Drive down and we will get you on tomorrow night. And I couldn't believe it because obviously I'd just driven back on the Saturday. But do you know what? I wasn't even caring about that. I wanted this. So Tuesday, I got up really early, I drove down, got to the hotel, literally about half four, got changed and about 10 minutes later, that was it, went to the studio, got in, got my hair and makeup done, got in the green room and sorted. Producers and crew member came over to me and they were like, right, it's your time, you're going on. I feel like I'm reliving it, telling this story, honestly. I cannot tell you how happy I was in that moment. And it was my time, so I do the walk on. You stand on the X in the tunnel, and where I was standing, just before, obviously, they started rolling, I could see the audience kind of sitting there. I could see Ian standing there. So, obviously, Ian shouts, um, Shivani from Dundee, and that's when I start to walk on, do a little wave, that was absolutely hilarious. And then you stand with Ian and you do your introduction. So I was really nervous at this point. And then he says, right, let's play Moneyball. And then your back's kind of to the audience. So it's not as bad, like you can hear them and everybody is rooting for you, which is really, really nice. But you don't need to constantly look at them and see all these people watching you. So yeah, we started to play the game. And do you know what? Like every question was coming up and because of how nervous and excited I was and it was just such a surreal moment, I didn't even feel like I was reading the questions. You just kind of, when you're answering the questions, you need to talk about your answer and why that's your answer. So my first question, I think, was about TV shows. So I knew what channels that they were on, so that one I was quite confident about. I had my second question that was about pizza toppings. I was absolutely confident with that one. Then the third question came up about Olympic Games and it was cities that the games were in and you had to match them up with what year the Olympic Games were in those cities. And when this question came up, oh, my heart absolutely dropped because I just didn't have, I didn't have a clue. Uh, so I, I felt like I was looking at it and Ian was kind of looking at me to start speaking. And it just felt like I was looking at the question for ages because I did not have a clue. Like my mind just went blank. So, for some reason, I was looking at it, London was there and 2012 was there. I don't know why, but for some reason, something right at the back of my head was saying London is 2012. I wasn't 100% sure about that. And like, looking back, I don't even know where I knew that from. 
So I matched the years to the cities, but I still wasn't 100% sure. So you kind of have a lifeline, which is your clue ball. So you can land that on an answer and it'll tell you if it's right or wrong. I used that and I got it on one of the answers I wasn't confident about. It lit up green. So I just went for it. You can see like, or if you watch the show, you can see that I'm just kind of like praying to myself. Um, and then it all lit up green and I was so happy. I could not believe it. So by this point, I'd managed to build up to 31K. Ian asked me, do you like to continue? Um, and But I'd used my one lifeline. I thought, what if a question comes up and I don't know the answer? I can't risk losing 31,000 pounds. Like thinking about even having that kind of money, it was just crazy. Like that 100% would have, and it, it did change my life. Yeah, I just went for it. So I played for the money ball. So, Shivani is looking to win 31,000 pounds. Shivani, all the money you've earned up to this point is on the line, okay? Just land on it and win it. If you miss it, you will be going home with nothing. I think you can do this. Do we think that Shivani can do this? Yes, we do, don't we? Yes, we know she can do this. All the very best. Activate the launcher. Okay, take your time. Yeah. When you are ready, Lock the launcher. Good luck. Take it. I like it. I'm hearing some news. I like it. Fingers crossed. Do you like it, which is more important? It's what I was aiming for. Okay. Yeah. Well, even better. So they can do as much as they like. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Money Boy's locked to win £31,000. One shot to win the lock. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Okay. Come on. Please, 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 please. Okay. Now the business starts. Now we start. Here we go. Now we need a big roll. 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 Come on, we need a big roll. Yeah. I won it. I oh, after everything, third time lucky. Oh, I was just, I could not believe it. And all of this, I had won £31,000. Sorry, what? What? And like, literally, could you imagine if I hadn't went, I would say, my comfort zone and I hadn't submitted that video right back in February for the application, then I would not have won that money. It is just so crazy. I went for it and it 100% paid off. It was really amazing. So yeah, that was September and then, oh, you would think that was it, but no, more stresses came because obviously I wasn't sure if I was going to be on the TV. Um, Obviously, like you do, you've went through all that. You've been on the cameras. You've you've won. I'm gonna want my episode to air. So I wasn't sure when I was getting the money either. Um, I think a couple of months went by. Being in touch with producers and that Moneyball episodes were on the TV. I was watching them every Saturday. I was just praying and wishing that mine was going to be on the TV because, of course, I wanted to watch that back. Like it was just one of the best moments of my whole entire life. So then December came and I found out that I was going to be on the last episode, episode 8, on the 18th of December and then you'd get the money kind of shortly after that. It got to the night, the whole family came over, we had drinks and that and we watched the episode and do you know what, it was just so surreal seeing yourself on TV and then obviously like all my friends and the rest of the family and that, you weren't allowed to tell anybody at the time. So yeah, I got to tell my friends and I got to tell the rest of my family and everybody was just so, no one could believe it. They were like, sorry, what? You've been going through that for months and we had no idea. It was the best experience of my life. Um, I went out that night to celebrate with my friends and it was just honestly one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Um, not even just winning the money, but the whole experience overall. There was ups, there was definitely downs, but it was so worth it in the end. Like, and it just shows you want something, just go for it. Do you know what I mean? Like, just do it. What, I had nothing to lose. And I realized that 
but it was really funny to watch it back. Like I noticed me and Ian kind of both put our hands up and then we're going for a hug. But obviously I've got such long hair and, I'm, and I had it down on the show as well. And when he's walked away from hugging me, it's like my hair's got stuck in his armpit. If you look closely, you can see it on the TV. It's absolutely hilarious, which honestly it was so funny to watch back. If anybody is thinking like, oh, I'd love to do something like that, but I'm not confident enough, or I'm not sure if I'd be good at that, literally so what? I did end up getting the money kind of just before Christmas, which actually worked out absolutely perfect. Just kind of spent on like my friends, my families, um, of course clothes, plenty, plenty trainers. For myself, I, I booked a lot of concerts, festivals, so that I'd have stuff to look forward to. I've got wireless, um, I've got Mauritius, and like I've said, it was just the best thing that's happened to me, and I'm so, so grateful for such an amazing opportunity. So yeah, that is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you do want to watch my Moneyball episode, episode eight, season one, I will put the link down below. But yeah, thank you so much and I shall see you later.